If you have a chronic illness and you feel like your symptoms just flare at totally random times and you can't figure out what is actually affecting you, it could be your hormonal changes. I am Chandler, I'm a naturopath and I work with people with chronic illnesses as there is a higher rate of women who have chronic illnesses. A lot of my work is with women. I love to use the habit of tracking your cycle as one of the main things that I recommend for women with chronic illnesses or women that I see in general. Your hormones don't just affect your period. They influence every part of your body. They influence your energy, your mood, your pain, your sleep, and even the inflammation present in your body. For those of us with chronic illnesses, this means that certain phases of the cycle can trigger you to flare up while other phases can bring you more stability. For example, in your luteal phase and through to your period, your estrogen drops significantly, which can affect our ability to hold water. So if you have something like POTS, this can leave you more dizzy and lead you to have poor energy in this phase of your cycle. By tracking your cycle and your mood and energy symptoms, you will begin to see patterns. Then you can plan your life around your body instead of fighting it. So you can do this by scheduling big tasks for your follicular and for your follicular phase, which is after your cycle ends and when you begin your next cycle after your period. And prioritizing rest and nervous system regulation when you're in your luteal phase through to your through to the start of your period you can track with paper or a calendar on your phone or there's a lot of apps available as well understanding your body's rhythm and what gets flared up for you can help you to prevent things like burnout and reduce flare-ups if you take it easier in the times that you know your body is already under stress. 